In this video lesson, we are going to be looking at long division using the traditional algorithm with a four-digit dividend and a one-digit divisor. Our first example is 1,968 divided by 6. I have listed my friendly numbers for 6 over here to help me um, as I'm remembering. And I have listed the Dirty Monkeys Smell Bad acronym to help me remember all the steps of the division process. So I'm going to start with the dividing. That's the D. And I'm going to do 1 divided by 6. Well, if I have one apple, can I put it into six groups? No, I cannot. So I'm going to go ahead and put a zero up there. So I divided, then I multiply. Zero times six is zero. Then I subtract, and then I bring down the nine. Okay, after I bring down, I know I'm ready to start over again at the top of the acronym. So now I'm going to divide 19 by 6. Remember, after I start over again, I'm, I'm never going back up to this number to divide. It will be down here. So 19 divided by 6, if I look on my friendly numbers chart, I can get to 18, but 24 is the next multiple of 6. So, one, two, three, three multiples. I can do three times six, which equals 18. So I divided and multiplied. Now I subtract. And then I bring down the next digit from the, divisor, the dividend. So now I have 16 divided by six. Ready to start up at the top again after I brought down. Oh, let me check off that I brought down. Now I'm ready to divide 16 divided by 6. And if I look on here, 12 is the highest I can go. So that means there's that's the second multiple. So I put my 2 up there. Then I multiply this 2 times the 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. Then I subtract, 16 minus 12 is 4, and then I bring down the 8. I look at my friendly numbers because I'm now ready to go back and divide again, back up to the top. I look at my friendly numbers and I see that 48 is in fact a friendly number for 6, and it's the 8th multiple. So I can go ahead and divide. 48 divided by 6 is 8. Then I multiply. 8 times 6 is 48. Then I subtract and I get 0. There's nothing to bring down, so I know that I'm finished. And a 0 means there is no remainder. If I had another number there, if I subtracted and got another digit that was less than my divisor, less than 6, then I would have a remainder. Okay, let me check my work. I'm going to take my dividend, 328, multiply it times my divisor, times 6, and I should get the dividend that I started with. 6 times 8 is 48. 4 goes up, 8 goes down. 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. 1 goes up, 6 goes down. Six, 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. 1, 2, 3, comma me. I got the same result as I had started with here. So I know that my answer, my quotient of 328 must be correct. Okay, let's check out another example here. 
1,518 divided by 3. I have my friendly for 3 numbers listed over here because 3 is my divisor. I've listed my acronym for Dirty Monkeys Smell Bad to help me remember my steps. And I'm going to start by dividing. 1 divided by 3. Now, if I have one apple, can I put it into three groups? No, I cannot. I can get zero groups of, of three. So I'm going to record the zero. Then I'm going to multiply. Zero times three is zero, because zero times anything is a zero. Then I subtract, and then I bring down the next digit, which is five. Okay, after I bring down, I know that I'm ready to start my process over again up at the top with the D, with dividing. And I always divide from what was brought down. So 15 divided by 3. If I look at my friendly numbers, 15 is on here, and it is the fifth multiple of 3. So I'm going to go ahead and record the 5 up here. Then I multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. Let me record that. So I divided, I multiplied, I subtract, and then I bring down the 1. Okay, now I know that I'm ready to go back up to the top of my acronym. And this is an interesting situation. I want you to pay close attention because I'm dividing 1 by 3. And remember, we did that earlier up here. If I have one apple, can I put it into three groups? No, I can't. So it is super, super important for you to remember to record the zero here. You must record that zero to show that one cannot be divided by three. Then we multiply. Zero times three is zero. We subtract. We still have one. Now we're ready to bring down the 8. Okay, I brought down my 8. Now I'm ready to go back to divide again. 18 divided by 3. I find it on my friendly number list. That would be 6. 6 times 3 is 18. I subtract, I get zero, and there's nothing to bring down, so I am finished with this problem. I just go back and check my work, I look at my quotient, 506, I multiply it by the 3 that I was dividing by, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 3 times 5 is 15. And I get the same number that I started with. So I know that 506 is the correct quotient. Okay, one last example to look at here. I have 2,629 divided by 4. I'm going to start with dividing. 2 divided by 4. If I have 2 apples, can I put it into 4 groups? No, that would be 0. Multiply. 0 times 4 is 0. Subtract. And bring down the 6. After I bring down, I know that I'm ready to go back and start the process over again. 26 divided by 4. If I look down my friendly numbers, I can get to 24, but I can't get to 28 because that goes over. So if I'm thinking about 24, my multiple of 4 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. We divided, we multiplied. Now we subtract, we get 2. And we bring down the next 2. 
Now we divide again. 22 divided by 4. I can get to 20, but I can't get to 24. So that would be 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract. Bring down the 9. Now I have 29 divided by 4. Because we're back up here to dividing. 29 divided by 4. If I look down my friendly numbers, I can get to 28. And 28 is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th multiple. So I record 7 up here. Then I multiply 7 times 4, which gives me 28. I subtract, which gives me a 1. And I go to bring down, but there's nothing to bring down here. I have one left over. That means this is my remainder. Because not all numbers, not all um, divisors, will go evenly into the dividend. Remainder. The way I record this is I have to move it back up as part of my quotient. It must be included in the quotient. And I put a lowercase r and the number 1. If you do not put the remainder 1 on there, your answer is not correct. It must have the remainder. Okay, so how do I check my work if I have a remainder? Well, the first thing that I need to do is write the full part of my quotient, 657. And I'm going to multiply it times 4, because 4 was the divisor. 4 times 7 is 28. 2 goes up, 8 goes down. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 2 goes up, 2 goes down. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2 more is 26. And I have 2,628. But Miss Scott, that's not what you started with. You started with 2,629. Ah, yes, because there is a remainder of 1. So I add in the remainder. I multiplied up here. This part I had to multiply. The remainder I have to add. And when I add that in, I get the exact same dividend that I started with. This has been a video on using the traditional algorithm to solve long divisions um, questions with a four-digit dividend and a one-digit divisor.